Hi guys and welcome to Studio One with me, Gregor. So if there was one Studio One feature that I would show to somebody who loves working with virtual instruments, it would be music loops for sure. They are such a revolutionary concept that they actually changed the way I go about instrument presets altogether. So what makes them so good? Well, let me show you that from an example. And this actually works with any kind of MIDI parts, pattern, integrated native instruments and VST, AEX, AU instruments as well. Check it out. So I have created a baseline here and I used a pattern to do it. I also tinkered quite a bit with an automation to give it a bit more life. And I'm actually triggering the Brainworks BX Oberhausen this time around. And uh, this is how it sounds right now. So that's kind of cool already, but as you can hear, it needs a bit more work. So the first thing that we can do is go to the effects here in our browser and uh, look for a couple of effects that we could use to beef this up a bit. But if you do a couple of productions on a daily basis or on a regular basis at least, you will probably end up doing effects chains more. And effects chains is essentially an entire row, an entire chain of insert effects that you tried and tested in your productions on other bass lines, lead sounds, instruments, and then you could just save them for easy use in other productions also. So in my case, I just go to my base folder and I have one prepared called the base fattening. And if you click on this drop down arrow here, you can see the individual inserts that are making up this effect chain. Now I could either uh, make a selection of just a couple of these and drag them in. But in my case, I actually want to go for the entire chain because I just know that it works well here. So this is what we had. And now I'm just going to turn on the effects chain. Yeah, you can hear that really makes a big difference here. So that already helped quite a lot. But we kind of have to take it a step further and I think that will involve um, adding another instrument here. We just have to get this sound a little bit more full bodied in my opinion. So one way to do this traditionally would be to just um, add another instrument and let that instrument play the exact same thing. But what I would actually recommend is just drag that instrument onto the existing one. Um, let's use a little preset here. Uh, this one I love using because it's not changing the overall character of the original sound and um, by dragging it onto the existing instrument you will see that Studio One now asks us if we want to keep, combine or replace the um, existing instrument. In this case I want to go for combine because I don't want to replace the instrument that I have, just fatten it up a bit. But we still perceive it as the same bass instrument so that's why combine is such a great option. As soon as we select that we get this new uh, instrument window and now I can hear the original BX Oberhausen with this new layer added. And then just close it and keep mixing it as one instrument in our song going forward. This is great because I perceive it as one instrument in the song anyway, so why would I need to see it twice in my composition? So now we could go ahead, start working on this song, start adding some percussive loops or anything that could work with this. But let's say I just don't have the time right now. Well, then I would have to close the song and eventually uh, have to revisit it to make use of this baseline that I spent quite a bit of time on. The alternative is, that I just select this pattern here, go to the file tab of my browser. In my case, I'm just here on my desktop and I created an empty folder called Gregor's Music Loops and I just drag that thing I just did onto this empty space. Studio One has now rendered a music loop for me. We can actually audition the music loop from the browser now by double clicking it. So we get all the benefits that you usually get only with audio loop libraries where you can pre-audition something before dragging it in. But we still get the full control over the sound because when I right click and show package contents, you will actually see that the music loop consists of all the things that we've added. It has the entire effects chain, 
it has the multi-instrument, it has the part that we actually played, everything really nicely separated for us to use um, selectively or as an entirety. And if you build an entire loop library like that, you have the full flexibility of instruments which can be changed in each and every aspect, but you also get the comfort of being able to pre-audition stuff before you import into your song. So let me show you how useful that is. Let's switch to another song real quick. In a different BPM, mind you. And if I think at a later point in time, okay, I really need a baseline to go with this, let's check my music loops folder. I can just play it right with the uh, other stuff to see if it would work in theory. And if I decide that it actually does, I just drag it into my project and it is recalling the entire multi-instrument including all the effects right here for me. Including the pattern, including all of the automations. But now we can still make all the adjustments to the sound that we could normally not make uh, with a classic audio loop. I stopped using classic presets altogether and instead started making my own music loop libraries. In fact, when you go to the sound sets of Studio One and you download the Impact XT kits and sounds, you will find a folder called GBI for Gregor Bayerle music loops, where I have 25 of these music loops that you can explore at your own pace. And I can't encourage you enough to check them out. This one, for example, seems to uh, contain an entire song, right? Well, you will see that it's actually just an Impact XT multi-out setup that I can open up right from here. Um, and it remembers all of these preset sounds, all of the output configurations, as well as all my insert effects that I had used um, together with all the pattern variation with one simple drag and drop. All of this is remembered. The power of music loops is absolutely astonishing. And even though they've been around for quite some time, it will surprise you time and time again how incredible this feature is. If you're working with virtual instruments in Studio One, start using music loops today. You will thank me later.